This is happening right now. Black bear research is taking place in the woods of Pennsylvania. They catch, process, and release them to learn more about them. Hello everyone, I'm Don Jacobs and we're gonna go wild with Discover NEPA. We are in Gamelands 57 in Wyoming County. We're with the Pennsylvania Game Commission and we're gonna be trapping bears. Graham Roan is in charge of this program and he's been very successful. We've got 12 traps to check today. Um, we're doing a research black bear trap line. Um, this is part of a, a survival study that has just begun here in the state of Pennsylvania across the state. Um, each region is participating and our goal is to deploy some radio collars, GPS collars on black bears. Uh, we have a few different style traps for, for today. We're going to be using uh, this what we call a slam door style trap um, as well as some aluminum research traps that are actually able to be picked up and carried into the woods. And how about bait wise? What, what are you using for bait? Uh, we use waste pastries. I primarily use donuts uh, and then we use a long range lure that uh, has some sweet smells to it that uh, we spray in the trees and draws them in. So this is the first trap of the day and obviously it's not sprung. Correct, yep. So unfortunately no bear here. These traps are triggered by a, a basket. Right. And this is actually, so it's been partially set off if you can see. Right. Um, so the, the basket wasn't working. The bear was continuing to eat the bait and not pull the basket. So we set up what's called a drop rock. Your bait would be placed here behind the stick. When it bumps the stick. And there the, you go. The rock. The gotcha. weight of the rock pulls the door. Pulls the door. Rather down. than them having to pull the basket. Cool. Um, but it didn't quite go off. So <laughs> We'll get one today, buddy. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get one today. <laughs> Do you have a number that you're after? Yeah, so the, each region has its own quota, but my, region, or my quota here in this region is 32 callers, um, and that's broken down by age and sex demographics. I'm looking for 10 adult males, 10 adult females, 6 yearling males, and 6 yearling females. And how's it going so far? Very good. I need to catch one more adult male and uh, four more adult females as well as some juveniles, but they've seemed to be the, the hardest to catch. So right now we can, we can basically put a collar on most anything we catch today. This is like a cool adventure for me. In behind the Game Lands gate, taking a ride with the Game Commission and the biologists, looking for bear and traps. This is an exciting trip for us. We're gonna find some bear, I promise you. We're gonna find some bear. Oh yeah, we got a bear. I can see it. We got a bear. A bear with ear tags. With ear tags? Correct. But it's still gonna get a collar, right? Um, we'll actually try to see what this bear is. Okay. So this bear is actually a recapture with a collar. So if you look from my end right here, you can actually see the collar on the bear. So this is a big bear then? This, is, this bear was 290 pounds, if I recall correctly. Um, it, it's looking like it's still on there okay. So we're not even gonna immobilize this bear, or we're gonna just go ahead and open the door and let him out. Okay. This guy's a male. Yeah. On the move, because mating season, right? Correct, mating season's probably tailing down a little bit, okay. but yeah, it's still enough that we're seeing fighting There's, between the males and, yeah. and, and oftentimes if we have a female in a trap, you know, the next day we're probably gonna have a male in the trap. <laughs> we're just discussing how the collar looks on the bear at the moment. Um, it's been out for almost a week now, so we're happy with that at this point. It was eventually decided to simply release the bear because it had already been processed and wearing a collar. Take another look at this, and this time in slow motion. Okay, on to the next trap. And the next trap was also triggered, and the door was closed. It's another tagged bear, does not have a collar, so we'll try to figure out what its information is. So we're halfway through the trap line. We have yet another bear in the tube. 
what they figured out is, is that the bear has been captured already, so it has tags, and it does not need to be part of the radio collaring. So they're gonna be releasing this one. We're gonna continue following the Pennsylvania Game Commission through the game lands, looking for one that will be processed with a tag. Stay tuned. Don't miss the next episode of Go Wild with Discover NEPA as the bear research continues and you can catch it at discovernepa.com.